Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In another Luna Terra video, we're still going to be covering probably one of the largest crashes uh, in recent years in crypto, and it was inevitable. So, Du Quan, the CEO or master of stablecoin, I don't, I can't believe this guy still has that in his uh, title, his description there, kind of a joke. But let's take a look at this multi-tweet thread, starting with number one, Terra is more than UST. Okay, so the entire thing you built your, your blockchain on and marketed it as and with is not that important now, after you've lost billions of dollars. All right, number two. It has been inspiring to partake in a dynamic discourse regarding the next steps or the best next steps for Terra. Taking feedback from the community and thoughtful proposals, I would like to suggest the following for the path forward. And he's got an Terra ecosystem revival plan to link here. Let's open that up in a new tab. Let's take a look. Here's the Terra's website. They've got plan number two. Then you got Dookie Kwan here. Um, this will be a living document to coordinate the fork with the community. Details are subject to change. This is uh, May 16th. All right. Terraform Labs will put this proposal up for a governance vote on 518 Asia time. If passed, it will coordinate the network fork pursuant to the timeline below. Special thanks to everyone that, that submitted great ideas on Agora and the Rebuilding Terra group. All right, Duquan is hellbent on continuing this torture chamber uh, that is known as Luna. So let's take a look at what they believe is the best way forward. Terra is more than UST, which is the stable coin that depegged and dang near went to zero. While UST has been the central narrative of Terra's growth story over the last year, see, that was what it was built around, that's what it was marketed around. Now, hold on guys, it's not about that, it can be about something else. The distribution of UST has led to the development of one of the strongest developer ecosystem in crypto. Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a joke or what, um, but sure bud. The Terra ecosystem and its community are worth preserving. That's definitely an opinion, because it's not. Terra's app ecosystem contained hundreds of developers working on everything from DeFi to fungible labor markets, state-of-the-art infrastructure, and community experience. While the blockchain is plunging everyone into the depths of hell. Terra Station has a large install base with million plus users across the world. Okay. Although distressed, strong brand recognition and a name that almost everyone in the world will have heard about for failing. UST peg failure is Terra's Dow hack moment. Okay. A chance to rise up anew from the ashes. Scammers always go with that quote. We're going to rise up from the ashes after I stole all your money. Summary. Fork the Terra chain into a new chain without the algorithmic stablecoin. The old chain to be called Terra Classic. Token Luna Classic, L-U-N-C. And the new chain to be called Terra Token Luna. Luna to be airdropped across Luna Classic stakers, Luna Classic holders, residual UST holders, and essential app developers of Terra Classic. All right, who gets to determine all of those things and what's the, the split? TFL's wallet, all right, will be removed in the whitelist for the airdrop, making Terra a fully community-owned chain. Yeah, okay, I've heard that one before. They're always talking about Community owned, community controlled, blah, 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 blah. It never works out. It hasn't worked out for anything that I've been around for that had called itself a community project. It just has not worked. 
And that is, and that even includes projects on Cardano. They just don't work. All right. Allocate a large portion of the token distribution in one, providing emergency runway for existing Terra dApp developers. Two, align interests of devs with the long-term success of the ecosystem. Okay. I don't like this because... Providing emergency runway. You could have done that with all of the Bitcoin that you burned. Or not burned, but sold OTC to an unknown person for an unknown price for unknown reasons. So why don't you use that money and you provide the runway for existing Terra app developers yourself and you don't use liquidity from retailers. How about that? Align interests of dev with the long-term success of the ecosystem. Why don't you create a, I don't know, an organization where you pay these developers your damn self since they're doing all this work for you and not use liquidity from retail investors. Network security to be incentivized with token inflation. Um, I, think, I think everybody's learning a lesson on inflation whether it be Americans in the United States or people that watched your token inflate to the trillions of tokens and watch their money deflate to nothing. Target staking rewards of 7%. Oh, okay. So the 20% didn't work out too well. So now we'll go down to 7 Just, Just around the percentage that uh, Cardano uses. And I'm sure you're going to have to lock your tokens up and lose custody of them as well. But they're still going to call themselves proof of stake. Essential app developer program. There are essential apps that must exist in any Web3 ecosystem to be viable. Infrastructure. Dex. So they, okay, so here's the list where they get to determine who's important and who ain't. Congratulations to the people on this list. But also... You guys already got wrecked. You're going to continue to do this. You're going to continue to develop for this ecosystem. Well, I well, I guess that they will. They'll uh, they'll develop for anyone, I guess, if uh, they're paid enough. But, yeah, I don't get it. Don't get it. Who's Who are they going to, whose money are they going to use to pay for these people, these programs? They could have used that eight. 80,000 Bitcoin that they hawked to pay these, pay for these. That's what they could have done. Essential app developers committed to the launch on Terra will receive an emergency allocation, 1% of total supply immediately after network launch to provide for runway while they build out product. Commit to returning funds if product has not been launched in one year. You don't have to commit. Can't you just create a smart contract? just make that a thing i don't i don't know alignment allocation four percent of total supply to be vested to dev teams that ship products and show traction allocation to be determined by governance rule set to be debated by community essential app developers looking to join should signal uh, public support for the fork on twitter and social channels and coordinate with the community multi-sig token distribution oh here's the good stuff so we got 100,000, 100 million, 1 billion tokens, 25% community pool controlled by staked governance. Should be bigger. 1% essential developers emergency, no lockup, should be zero, should be providing that out of your own pocket. Essential developers want should be providing that out of your own pocket. All bonded, unbonded unit, Luna minus TFL at pre-attack snapshot. Ooh, this is where it gets spicy. For wallets with more than 1 million Luna, one year cliff, two year vesting thereafter. Why? They should get it right away. You took their money right away. They should get their money back right away. For wallets with less than a million, one year cliff, four year vesting thereafter. Wow. Okay. It's crazy. They're gonna, they're gonna, this is just nuts. 10% Luna holders. 
Stake derivatives include, at the launch, snapshot 10%, unlocked at Genesis, 90% invested over two years thereafter. 25% the UST holders at launch snapshot. 10% unlocked at Genesis, rest vested. This is crazy. All tokens locked or vested is staked at Genesis and must be unbonded to become liquid. Oh, trash, 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 garbage. This is garbage. Reserving this spot for a reply after reading. No one wants a fork. Just burn the current Luna and fix the current algorithm to get back UST peg. There's a bunch of replies here. There's no way to fix the algo without a fork. Classic. Please don't use the name Doc Juan. It is a bad move against true Ethereum. Try old Luna instead. Okay. 100% facts. So stealing 80 billion is okay. Creating 7 trillion tokens in a matter of seconds. Just know you will be doomed. Not in this live, but through all the multiverses. <laughs> I want a fork. How can I claim no one? How can you claim no one? Okay. Burn USD to save Luna. A fork is running away from the debt. I agree with that. You're just running away. Great work. What will happen to the people who hold on exchanges? You will get wrecked. Uh, just read it. Really want to know what happens because I fall in that category. Move to wallet and stake. You will receive airdrop of new coin. Terra. No, you won't. You won't get anything. What the F? <laughs> spot reserved. Reserving this spot. Just plain bad. What happens to tokens from dApps like Astroport, Mars, Mirror, etc.? Do we sell and hold UST in preparation for this fork? You won't get it because it has to be snapshotted pre-attack. So you get nothing, friend. Or will these tokens be ported over to the new fork? Nope. You getting robbed, buddy. Exit liquidity. That's what you are. This is garbage. All right. Three. Currently, these pre-concepts underpin most school of thought. The lunatic community is unparalleled in its passion. Love bombing. The builder talent pool is broader and deeper on Terra than most ecosystem. Delusional. Terra's blockchain is incredibly robust, as attested by recent events total crash failure of their stable coin and destruction of the brand yeah i find that extremely or incredibly robust as well four at the at the same time however competing interests from varied stakeholders luna holders usd holders terra builders etc make it extremely difficult and unlikely to achieve consensus on a cohesive congruent plan that's why you blow the blockchain up and take as much liquidity that's left and move it to a new a new scam that sucks even harder and has worse tech tokenomics. It would be devastating for broader crypto adoption and advancement if we remain in an entropy amidst opposing views. And as such, I propose the following to chart the path forward for our ecosystem. Six, the terror chain is as it currently exists should be forked into a new chain without an algorithmic stable coins called Terra and the old chain be called Terra Classic. Yeah, okay. This dude's going to have his Ethereum moment, right? New Luna will be airdropped to the new token name. This is the Luna Classic stakers, holders, and residual UST holders. So this is basically going over what he posted. He's going to call it Terra 2.0. It's focused on developers. Developers will get an immediate emergency allocation of Luna tokens to fund runway, as well as a pool of tokens earmarked to align the interests of the base layer with its builders. Call to action. We encourage Terra developers to signal support. Yep, we read that. TFL will be initiating a governance proposal. The Terra community is my family love bombing. I will always be here counting their money. No matter how hard it gets, let's build it back up again together. Now you want to do it together. Now you want to be nice do Dookie Kwan. Now you're not cocky and calling everybody poor. Now you're not doing those things anymore. Clown world. Do Kwan. 
I'm listening to the community and I will support the community's decision. Clown. Community. Buy and burn. Duquan. Okay, fork it is. Buy and burn. Duquan. The community has spoken. We we get on the fork. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. It's hilarious. Those who demand a burn. This is an interesting tweet. Let's show the replies. Those who, who are demanding a burn are the ones who bought a fr- at a fraction of the penny and are looking for quick gain. It, take, it doesn't take a genius to spot this. Okay, that's called a market. Your leader caused the, the token to go to a fraction of a penny. We just bought it. Yeah, I bought some. You mean they took a chance to gamble in a dying project? That's what it is at that point. Gambling, not investing. Yeah, it's all gambling, including you, you idiot. We just got a better deal. You lost all your money. We made some. After you compensate the holders in this way, 90% of them will sell the new token. Exactly. So the LUNC will be worthless. Your new Luna will fall down and you will have to set the track for a version number three. Save the Luna you already have. Average IQ needed. <laughs> Here's how the new fork chain would work. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. That guy is dead on. A type of fisting and jo- Oh, man. Uh, fork your mother if you want fork. Oh, Oh, man. No one wants a fork. Simply buy back and burn Luna. I don't know why they didn't do that before. Why didn't they didn't stop? They waited like over. It was like over 24 hours before they were like, hey, maybe we should halt the halt the chain and stop people from minting an infinite amount of tokens. They were like, oh, yeah, maybe we should do that. And then also, how do you halt a decentralized chain? This is just ridiculous. Every day, it's just like more ridiculous nonsense. Like this dude is a snake oil salesperson. Mr. Dookie Kwan. Man, I can't believe people are actually following along with this guy and believing in the things that he says. And they're going to vote on this proposal to fork the network so that you can make an even crappier one with worse tokenomics and steal everybody's little money that they have left and try to siphon it and put it over on this new chain, that will probably crash as well. Yeah, makes no sense. This makes no sense to me. Good luck, people that have put their lives into this project, this this chain. For the people that uh wanna wanna grow and learn, you got Ethereum, you got Cardano. Cardano would love to have you, developers, uh, token holders, all the everybody that's that's made it out with with some some of their value good luck to you guys but if you got this person leading the show leading the charge you're gonna need all the luck in the world very very unfortunate situation hurt a lot of people a lot of retail investors i i blame duquan for this bear market that we're in yeah what a mess what a mess a cocky is humbled yet again. Thank you for checking out the channel. Make sure you hit that like, share this video, and of course, like always, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.